Great job down under. I'm impressed, and Australia is forever grateful. Now for the impossible. All right, well, nothing is impossible if you put your mind to it. Welcome back to the 18th episode of the uh, Nostalgia Playthrough of Raylo Tycoon 2, huh? Platinum Edition. Now, either way, we're uh, going to Africa in 1890. And uh, what we're going to do here is connect Cairo and Cape Town and run some trains between them. Uh, for Look, gold. I'm getting old here. You want to get started before they come and measure me for a coffin? Yeah, I am indeed trying to do exactly that. Now, either way, we got to run some trains between her. And uh, for the gold medal, well, that can... Uh, we we, we got to be quick, basically, is what I'm getting at. And I would say that you, you do start with, uh, like, uh, a million and a half in funds, sir. Uh, so this plus one credit rating, plus 70,000, it's not really going to do you much good. Plus 10% passenger revenue could be good for you, though, because you can make some good profits off passenger on this map. Uh, but the thing is, you won't be fast with getting across the entire continent from north to south here. And so that being said, I think plus 15% train speed is the way to go, at least if you want to go for the gold medal. It's going to, you know, cut down 15% of the travel time-ish to get across the continent. So, with that being said, let's get to it. The beaches of the Cape of Good Hope connected to the pyramids outside of Cairo? Huh, it's never been done! The closest anyone came was halfway, and the man died trying. This is gonna be really tough. It's left all before you in ruin. Spanning the African continent with its jungles and worse, its deserts, will certainly take its toll. To complete this campaign, the beaches of the Cape must be connected to the pyramids of Cairo. All right then. After the Berlin Conference in 1884, Europe divided up Africa to suit the needs of their empires. Naturally, this hasn't gone over well with the native inhabitants. As Cecil Rhodes, an immigrant who calls Africa home, you think that a grand railroad can bring civilization to Africa. Africa can become an empire unto itself which, uh, with you as its leader. You must attempt to connect Cape Town to Cairo and haul at least eight loads of cargo between them by the end of 1930. For a silver win, complete the task by the end of 1916. For a gold win, do it by the end of 1902. So 13 years we have to do this. Lucky number 13. Now we got Cape Town here and the ports doesn't really give us much. Well, I mean, they turn iron into steel. So that's good. We don't need to go to a steel mill for, uh, for that. They also demand coffee and sugar, but there's no passenger production from them. There's quite a few houses in Cape Town, so we got good uh, passenger production over here. We also got quite a few houses in Port Elizabeth. In Durban over here. And Johannesburg. We could set up like a circular track here or something if we wanted to. There's also quite a few uh, houses in Mound. A few in Livingstone. Here and there, you know, there, there, there is potential for passenger profits on this map. Let's have a quick look, though, because if we look at the access rights, sir, we can only build in British territory to begin with. And we got the Belgian, the French, the German, and the Portuguese to deal with when it comes to access rights. And as you can see, it can be expensive. The German territory is seemingly the cheapest. Uh, do we also have access rights in... Yeah, in Italian territory. That's independent over there. Hmm. Is that like Ethiopia or something? I could be wrong. My uh, African geography is and all that. Like Abyssinia. Like, I feel like I've seen some documentary documentaries about Italy invading around here somewhere. Uh, we, we got Italian territory and British territory and independent territory that we can. Oh, this might be 
Ethiopia. I'm not sure. I could be completely wrong. But I feel like uh, yeah, the Italians wouldn't have control of that by now. But uh, yeah, and never mind. Never mind. We're not playing any uh, war games though. So manager, uh, well, stock price ten percent lower on diesel engine purchase, thirty percent cheaper. None of that has any value to us. I think we can get uh, this guy maybe goodwill higher, so we can maybe get some territory secured early on here. Let us also uh, issue stock. We can maybe just push the value of the stock. Yeah, yeah, we'll buy. We'll buy more than we can afford, just to push off the value a little bit. And then issue some stock. We can also issue bonds. Alright, we got some good routes that we can set up here. The thing is, if we build out in this direction here, that's not necessarily gonna be, like, uh, let's see, what's the terrain like? Yeah, because the terrain can be a bit tricky. Um, might be a good way up here or something. Um... But yeah, my point being, I mean, we could build that here, like this way, over to Johannesburg, up here, and then further somewhere where it makes sense. So if we buy the German territory, we'll be able to build trains, or lay tracks and run trains here. Which might be nice, I suppose. Although, if we could run along the coast here, that could also be good, because then the gradient would be fairly low, we can just run from city to city along the coast and then maybe cut across here. Or we could go to uh, where the Nile River flows from, out around here. Hmm. There is, uh, there are certainly some options. Which ones are going to be the best? can be a bit hard to tell. We'll just have to see. We'll find a solution to it. There's Djibouti. Just wanted to point that out. <laughs> Alright, we got this, uh, we got Cairo here and whatnot. Uh, with a bunch of houses and such. And a lot of industry. Uh, cattle. In the city itself here, so it's gonna be, you can't really transport it to meat packing plant. Well, it's, it's in Alexandria, but... What I'm thinking is we could, uh, we could do something like this. Right, we just could uh, connect up. Cairo and its surrounding area. Um, try to, yeah, I think we'll do that actually. Or maybe not. Like if we look here. But it's going to have a lot of passengers in Cairo. So we can really make some good passenger profit. The thing is though we're just ever so slightly shafted. On uh, the production or the placement of these industry so and this farm so if we rotate and see then it's just gonna be quite tricky have to move around this then across here well okay I guess it could work uh, and then we come to Vardy Halfa or Halfa Alpha, how we want to say. Uh, it doesn't have like a well, there's a decent amount of houses still. And we got Khartoum. Alright, so what I think we'll do is this, in fact. We'll start in Cairo. And I'm going to try to get as many houses as I can connected here. This seems to be the best placement. So let's go for that. Then we go double track. And we just take up some bonds if we need it. Alright. Okay, that could work. Uh, let's say like that. The bridge here. Somewhere over here, anyway. That will be functional. Probably not with a 2.0 gradient. 
Yeah, then we go over to Vadi Hafa here. Yeah, that's uh, that's gonna do the trick, I'd say. Uh, I'm not sure I want to connect that farm necessarily to this city. So anywhere, anywhere here, well, the farm can come in handy. I mean, with these caveats, but um, the meatpacking plant is in the same station radius, which is a little bit of an issue. I don't see any other nearby meatpacking plants. So we'll have to construct some station going specifically, like. Here to cover the meatpacking plants or something. That's going to be a bit of an expensive investment to get a bridge over there and whatnot. I think maybe we just don't worry too much about that, if I'm honest. And I'm hoping a medium station can get the job done here. Uh, yes, it can. Fantastic. Uh, it cannot tell though. So we're going to have to go with a large one. But that's okay. So we have our first few stations. And I think we just actually issue some bonds. Just have a little bit more. Uh, more money to work with. Uh, this thing is going to slow down profit. Being there. I mean it might pay off just deleting it. Uh, but yeah it's going to be expensive. So let's not. Okay so our train selection is. Uh. I don't think any cars are going to be like 40 tons. Let's check it out to like 20. Um, right, below average, average. Consolidation. It's got good gradient handling. Oh, uh, not necessarily that good. Good reliability though. Three truck Shea. Uh, hmm. For the routes I'm setting up right now, I'm thinking the uh, 4408 wheeler might be the better option. You know that or the consolidation. It's got better. Uh, Reliability than the wheel though. Uh, it is slightly slower. But it will handle grades better. I don't know, I've been going with the 4408 wheeler and uh, the 422 Iron Duke a lot, so. Let's try the 280 consolidation for a change. Now, we'll run one train from Cairo to Vadi Hafa. What's in demand there? A lot of mail and passenger, so we'll take all of that, like so. If we micromanage these to a certain degree, at least early on, and then we'll see what comes of it. We run the train from Wadi Hafa to Cairo. Uh, Cairo just demands everything we can throw at it, basically. And then let's also get a train going from Cairo. Uh, to Aswan. Like so. That should bring everything that's available in Cairo. And I think we'll be good. Aswan should probably have a uh, roundhouse. It's the uh, middle town after all. Uh, sanding and water towers need to be uh, procured for every one of these stations. So let's do that. We still have a little bit of money left. That being said, we might not go in the negative too soon. Huh? So let's change the dividend to zero so we don't pay anything to uh, our stockholders. And right now we have a train on everything that can be transported, although we could connect the cartoon. And we'll look into industry soon enough as well. Thing is, though, where we would want to deliver stuff. Uh, it's already also where it is being produced. I mean, we could take the grain with us from here, I suppose. Uh, but that's for the future. If, if there's not enough passengers, we can do that. 
I think um, I think we're good to go. Our main focus need to be to get that rail connected down to uh, Cape Town as fast as possible. Now let's go game speed four. We are working with some pretty slow steam engines, sir. As I think. Passenger revenue, right? Uh, if we go to Vadi Hafa, uh, get a large hotel, maybe. A large restaurant, we can't get both. We can get a saloon, though. And. Oh, that's good enough. I'm thinking we're not going to be taking as much passengers to Cairo as we are going to take from Cairo, so. Could make sense to do this. Uh, large restaurant is going to be too expensive. But if we can just set up the passenger transportation, it'll be very profitable as soon as possible. As you can see, the, uh, the saloon gives plus 5% to passenger revenue and 25% from the uh, large hotels. So I think we're going to try to get that done. Might as well. We have a little bit extra cash lying around. So. Although now primarily we're transporting mail, but uh, soon enough, soon enough. All right, I mean, we're going to make some good profit once these trains get to the stations, and it doesn't look like that's necessarily going to take too long, so... This Aswan route, uh, we might not want to take too many passengers um, from Cairo to that. But oh well, oh, yeah, okay. Uh, what do you have for her? Wait a minute, so right now, which train will be making uh, most personal profit? It will be this one. So we'll go for large restaurant huh? uh, That means a total of 45%. We could do post office, but... Uh, nah, it's only a penalty reduction for pickup of mail. So we're gonna skip on it. We'll just get the large restaurant. And as one... We'll get, uh, uh, let's get something in Cairo instead, actually. Let's get the saloon going. So we got some saloon surround. Might want to redirect this train somewhere else. Oh, look at that. The uh, 480 Mastodon. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty garbage. Alright, well, I mean, profits will be good. It seems to go down fairly fast how much we're going to be making off these trains. So speed is kind of of the essence. Oh, wow, okay, we're in Cairo now loading up again. Uh, we can load up differently than this. For sure. We'll load up like this instead. Uh, this train's about to hit Cairo. There we go, some profits. And uh, right now, is there any cattle they would like to have there? No. We pretty much loaded up incorrectly here. We shouldn't have put all on this uh, Aswan train. But it's fine, it's fine. It'll be transported faster this way at least, so we'll do it like this. Not so sure about this Aswan train at all, to be honest, but, uh, yeah, oh well. Either way, we can get the large restaurants and the large hotels going in Aswan, and also in Cairo, we'll stop with a large hotel we can't afford at all right now. Right, there's more passengers in Cairo already. Well, I feel like that's going to be a thing, and it's going to be quite recurring. Either way, we're about to hit Wadi Hafa. And the time it takes getting there really cuts our uh, profits in half. Uh, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Man, that was a cheesy one. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, we're going to take everything we can here with us. And then we're going to go into Cairo. And um, get a large restaurant going here. There we are. Uh, so maybe we can get that German territory. Aswan, finally there's something to pick up there at least. So 
So, is I good with any better now? Like, what is, um... What would it cost for German territory just to have, uh... Yeah, we have the German territory. At this point, we might be able to get some more if it's... Because that was substantially cheaper than when we started out, so... Uh, investors are pleased. That's good, there's no new uh, managers available. And, uh, yeah, revenue... Well, we made some revenue. And, uh, yeah, we could start building in the other direction as well, but I do want to connect the uh, cartoon before we do that. Like, we don't need to connect every single city or anything. Um, I have a, I have a decent plan for it all. So, I think passenger is gonna be more profitable right now, but what is in demand here? Let's get one mail and, uh, uh, let's get two mail. Do this. So, cartoon is where I want to go next. So let's start constructing out in that direction. Actually, is there any more to ah nah that's good. Cartoon sounds good. We'll go through the German territory, I think. We already have the access rights to it, so we might as well. I'll try to construct along the river here. I want double track so we're probably gonna lay single track further out than cartoon though. Uh, so across the nation, I'm thinking I'll go for a single track, and we don't need to connect the entire nation, we just need to set up a good profit base. And then Vadi Hafa, we can uh, get this with us. Get some food in Cairo. A group of German missionaries come to you for protection from a local tribe. Giving them 50,000 in aid will make your... Will make you unpopular locally and your rails will be prone to attack, minus 30% security. However, the German Empire's opinion of you will greatly improve, 45%. If you ignore the missionaries, your goodwill will drop with all nations by 15%. Uh, I don't need that minus 30% security going on. We're going to turn the missionaries away. And find what we got now. We have uh, access to connecting the entire nation. So we're in good shape in that regard. Uh, sorry, the entire continent kind of acted like an uh, American there in regards to Europe, I feel. Well, some of them seem to think that Europe is a country. It is not. It is a continent. just want to put that out, though. Uh, either way, the man in Vadi Hafa. What is the man in Vadi Hafa? Right, let's get two uh, two mail, four passengers, and as one, we'll do this. And I have an idea of how we are going to continue her now, just for some micromanagement efficiency. We're going to get cartoon connected. It's going to have to be with a large station. Let's just keep building these stations for a little bit of uniformity. And sanding tower, water tower, it could be good with a roundhouse there, I suppose. And large hotel, large restaurant, no, I can't get that yet. We can get a saloon though. And what else we can get is, uh, consolidation. I mean, this train looks pretty sleek, not gonna lie, but it doesn't really look effective at all. Ah, uh, well, it might not be that bad, actually. Except for it's very poor and poor on these, so... Yeah, let's just stick with the consolidation. We run from Khartoum to Cairo. It's something like this. And once this train hits Cairo, I'm gonna re-divert that to Khartoum, and then we're just gonna set up a uh, fairly automated train going from Aswan to uh, Cairo and back. So I'd say that, uh, you know, so far so good. Although we only have 11 years left to uh, get trains connected and running across the country, so there is that. Uh, from Cairo to Khartoum. And I would say two mail and the rest of Ah, let's just go full passenger. Ah, uh, two mail, two mail. 
Right, there we are, and then we set up another train that would just run between those two cities of Cairo and Aswan. And it can just be like this, I suppose. Because we're not going to micromanage this one. Uh, so all stations like this. Ah, that's just some extra profits we're going to try to be running. Hang on, go back to Cairo and actually pick up something, uh, Mr. Train. Africa and Freeland are stuck, a split 3 for 1. I'm so excited, we have new managers available. Income is up, and it's going to get even better. Let's see what kind of managers we got. Uh, track building, 15% cheaper. Hmm. Mountainous track building, 20% cheaper. Could be good, but I think we're going to go with this guy first now. And, uh... Can we repay this? No. We can issue stocks, though. Then maybe repay this? No. Kind of want to repay it. Um, but okay, all in due time. Uh, it probably doesn't really matter, actually. Whether or not we repay that. But let's get a large uh, restaurant going here. So this train's about to hit Cairo, and these trains... Uh, a bit of a slower nature. We might want a third train on that route, though. Alright, so in Cairo to Wadi Hafa. Well, we just pick up all this. And I think, if I'm honest, let's get another train on the route, though. From just Cairo to Khartoum. Well, we can run full load uh, coming out of Cairo. Uh, but I'm gonna... Oh, what, what's this doing? Why is this so... Oh, right, it's the... It's that train. Never mind. So, going to Khartoum. We're gonna change what this train will be carrying. Uh, it's gonna be carrying this. In all stations. And only that. And in Wadi Hafa, we pick up... Uh, one more passenger and some cattle. Now, I'm thinking what we do is connect Cape Town to the coastal city, sir, and start making some profit down here as well. Yeah, we can get away with a medium station here. Sanding water, initially anyway. Let's just slow down the game speed a little bit until we get stuff connected here. And, uh, yeah, if we can get away with it, we'll build like this. We got Port Elizabeth, get that connected. Got a medium station, I would say. Yeah, so we're going to build up this way, because I think that might be better. And then we just start stretching the uh, singular track across the, across the continent. Let's see, a new engine available, 10 wheeler. Well, that was some interesting train choices, so I gotta say, but uh, oh well. Let's just get some bonds out there, so we can, get, uh, so we can just get these cities over here connected. Uh, the sooner the better, really. And then I don't know where to go from this, so that's something we need to consider here, like where are we going next? I think up here for sure seems like a good idea. Uh, maybe not actually, because then you get the super steep section here. Uh, maybe we just have to deal with the super steep section actually. It should be fine. Yeah, it, it should be okay. So. On in this direction, I suppose. Anyway, let's get a large station here. We can't just yet. We need a little bit more money. Now we can we can do one more bond. That's fine. All right, that's uh, fully connected, and then we just kind of start running some trains in the area to make some money. From Cape Town to Durban, for instance. Like such, we could run a train there. 
Then another consolidation from Port Elizabeth to Cape Town and Port Elizabeth to Durban. And Port Elizabeth you could pick up this and Cape Town it could be more like this and the same in Durban. Then we could run another train going Durban, Cape Town. Like this, bring sugar, because that's going to be in demand in Cape Town. Like so and such. Then we got some trains going here. That will uh, net us some profit. Got to get the sanding and water tower going though as well. And Port Elizabeth sanding water and the roundhouse. I don't think we're going to expand too much on the uh, station infrastructure down here, but... Uh, yeah, so now we're going to make a little bit more profit. I'm just setting up trains that I won't have to micromanage in the future. Uh, some of these are going to make good profit when I hit the stations. But we're just going to micromanage the um, Egyptian trains that we have running. So now we just wait for a little bit of money, and then we start connecting uh, across Africa, basically. Uh, Cairo unloading. Well, you can also load up in Cairo, I would say. To Khartoum, yeah, let's get the full load going that way. And then left Cairo, I don't like how that is programmed. There we go, pick up some stuff. Cape Town, we had what we needed. Every single city has what they need, I believe. Yeah, we're doing, uh, we're doing fine right now. We could connect Johannesburg, but uh, honestly, I don't think it's necessarily going to be the best choice to make. Um, well, it's going to be some tough sections, so no matter how we do it. Quite a few of those, in fact. Um, yeah, I guess that's the uh, solution, huh? And uh, then we also need to find a solution to... Uh, some other stuff. I mean, we could connect Johannesburg like this and, and have Johannesburg run between some other places, but I think we're making good enough profit with what we have going already, to be honest. Like a few trains down here. Could more trains be good? Investors are excited. Revenue is going up. Now we're making money basically, but not necessarily. Uh, but low there we will be, we will be. Cairo to Wadi Hafa. Demand in Wadi Hafa for mail isn't super high. And this uh, other train also unloading in Wadi Hafa right now. We will bring all the passengers and a bit of cattle. There we have almost a million to play around with, so let's just do that. We need uh, some connection in Johannesburg here. I think a small station is fine. We're not going to actually run trains, so... Sanding water, and I think a roundhouse could come in handy. Just to be on the safe side. And then, uh, right, where do we connect now? Over here could work out for us. Yeah, over here will definitely work out for us. Uh, we just need a little bit more money for it, though. So I'm thinking we can issue some more bonds, in fact. A couple more bonds. And then, uh, yeah. Let's just go straight here. Right. And then, uh, well, the connection is starting to take shape. Uh, we got to build over in this area, though. Okay, let's start connecting up from the north. Let's see uh, where we end up. We need to cross the Nile at some point. Hmm. Which we could be better to do there, in fact. Um. Okay, let's delete that track there again. Just... Uh, 
Now let's get a bridge there. And connect these stacks. Ah, well, okay, that's a steeper gradient, but oh well. That's ah, very steep there as well, so it might actually not be the best choice, but it's fine. I don't think we're not gonna run that many cars on each train, so it should be fine. And then we just uh, we just keep going south, I guess, until a certain point. Like, uh, do we go to Lake Albert? We can con continue through here. I think we go to Lake Albert. And then just a long river here. Oh well, maybe we... There's going to be some uh, climbing needing to be done, no matter how we do it. So, let's see. Now I could have good use of that mountainous track building guy. Let's see. Mountainous track building. Let's hire this guy. Uh, I'm not sure how much cheaper this really is, but... Okay, so... We got some track going here now. And there. Now we just need a little bit more profits. No, we'll keep, uh, keep an eye on the top train, so... And also the bottom stations, so to make sure that they are... Adequately servicing what is going on down here. So, let's get another train going actually between Durban and Cape Town. Like that, and Cape Town like this. Ten trains, that should be enough to uh, get us where we're going basically. I don't want to take up too many burns because they are pretty steep in the repayment department. Uh, I don't know what else track there, let's delete that. Oh mama, that's some good profits. Let's go, there's going to be some good profits too in that. That's particularly considering the uh, station infrastructure we got going. So, let's uh, keep expanding. Like such. And yeah, we can cross that border there, it's all good. And then where do we. Uh, let's just. Hang on, I need to pay some attention here. Okay, let's just pause the game for now. We have some money to work with. And uh, we need to get up to Lake Victoria over there. Uh, maybe there wasn't really that much mountainous track building going on. Uh, so something like this. We don't need to connect every city. We just need to uh, connect what we need to connect for the gold medal. Uh, to Mbeya over there. Seems like a solid connection choice. Uh, I really wish these weren't here. But I'm not going to pay for deleting them though. I don't wish for it that much. It would be more optimal to run the tracks where those uh, plantations are though, but oh well. Alright, so if we can run through Mbaya. Or however you say that. Mbaya. Mbeva. Okay, well. Call me stupid, I messed that up several times. Yeah, well, we connect it here like this. And then we can come in from here. Like such. And uh, since I don't see what the hell I'm doing, let's real quick remove the trees to get an idea here. And, uh, through here sounds like a good idea. And there we go, we are now connected. And so the time has come to take up some more bonds, even more bonds, and then some more bonds because we're going to make some uh, infrastructure along the line. So, 
I think right there before the climb could be a good place to have a station. A sanding and water tower. Did we have a roundhouse there? Yes, we did. And uh, we can connect also Kampala over here. A small station will suffice. We're not going to actually do anything though. So sanding water and roundhouse there. And then when we get to Mbeva. There will also be sanding water and roundhouse. Don't want to have too few roundhouses around. We have living stone. Oh, we're just going to put a sandy water and a roundhouse there as well. And on the halfway point between these two places, also, let's get sandy water. And then the next thing over is Johannesburg, which has a roundhouse and whatnot. The stretch is fairly flat, so. Just for good measure though, let's get a station out there in the middle of nowhere with a sanding and water tower. Now we start running those trains. And uh, across the country with a bunch of stuff. This is going to be some gradient. Which one would be the best for that? The 460 10-wheeler, I think, will be the... Uh, nation crossing train that we go for let's start out in cairo here does cape town want cattle at all unfortunately not they do want food and we do have uh, some food to go around so let's uh, let's do um mail and two food there's two food in here so why isn't there more we've been transporting a lot of cattle over here but, uh, oh well. Alright, Cairo to Cape Town with this. That's fine. Since it's a long trek, I don't want to slow the trains down too much. Uh, so we're going to also have a separate train running. Uh, it doesn't need a dining, it just needs to get the goods over though. That's all that's required. And uh, let's look at the briefing. So we need to haul eight loads of cargo between these two cities and we still have nine years to do so uh, Cape Town is kind of getting drained a little bit from, uh, from stuff to transport right now but oh well sometime soon Port Elizabeth Flyer new speed record how nice Okay, we're going to repay the worst bonds, like this for instance, and uh, that. Now we're just waiting for Cape Town to have a little bit more stuff to uh, transport away from it. Economy forecast, going prosperity, what's the 10-wheeler cost? Uh, it costs a bit. Yeah, so these are going to make some serious money when they hit, uh, hit the destinations. Obviously, going all the way across uh, Africa will uh, will probably net some profit. It doesn't sound unlikely to me, at least. Oh, train four has been robbed by Sulu Raiders. Well, let's hope that doesn't happen to the trains that are actually important. But just in case it does, let's get some more trains on the road here. Uh, Cape Town. Cairo, yeah, we can connect one train like that, and then we can connect another train with exactly the same, since there's uh, enough for that in the station. Now we can get a 10-wheeler going from Cairo to Cape Town with uh, something like that, and then we can get another 10-wheeler doing the exact same. Ha <laughs> ha! Aren't we being created? Alright, so we're in, uh, we're in good shape now. Africa and Freelander stock is split 3 for 1. The vessels are ecstatic. Uh, new managers. I don't think necessarily anyone that we really necessarily want that much. Uh, but we don't need any track building stuff anyway, so. Oh, look at that. W wish I had that guy before we made this connection. But oh well, right now it makes more sense to get this cheaper fuel cost guy, all the fuel cost for steam engines. It's really that high to begin with. 
Alright, so if we look at Cape Town here, there's not really that much in it right now, but we do have these trains coming in, so it's all good. As long as these guys don't get robbed, then we're going to be extremely fine. And we're making pretty good profit across the board. Doing fairly okay, as you might say. So we'll go from Cairo here with uh, another uh, mail and a couple of food. Just making sure that we have enough trains that will actually reach the destination. Alright, uh, this might have been subpar, but oh well. Ah oh yeah, we can run another train from Cairo, why the hell not? You know, just make absolutely sure. Well, one good reason would be to uh, not flood the train or the track too much. Uh, because these trains... They will run into each other and stop, so... I don't know, how many trains we got going across the country now? We got like eight. So the chance that most of these get robbed should be fairly slim. I think we can stop micromanaging these top trains, doesn't really matter anymore. Body Hafa can, uh, yeah, well, can just do whatever it does. We'll do this there. Body Hafa, like such. No, not all stations. And the other one was Cairo Wadi Hafa. Right from Wadi Hafa. Like this. Um, Khartoum, Cairo, nothing like that, doesn't really matter, Cairo, Khartoum, pretty much the same, let's go, and then we just keep an eye on our incoming trains, let's see how they handle gradient, oh, actually, let's uh, uh, get the trees back on. So our first train that should be hitting would be this. So let's keep an eye on this train's progress. And we could just for good measure, right? We could get a few more trains going on this uh, journey here. Cape Town with this, sure. Just in case something should go horribly wrong for some of our trains. We'll throw a little bit more of stuff in the mix. Yeah, there wasn't really that much to bring along, but uh, they're still going to make good profit when they reach the destination. Oh, let's see how this uh, area here is handled. By our first incoming trains. And just for good measure, I guess we could... Uh, hey, let's issue some stock, actually, and repay some bonds. There we go. For the last scenario, this seemingly is fairly easy. We cut my salary, I don't really care. Can't say that I do anyway, we got another seven years now to complete this. The governor of Belgian Congo seeks your aid in developing industry in this province. Sorry, no. Lions have raided one of your work camps on the savannah. If you don't get some skilled hunters out to the site, the workers will leave. Loss of workers will increase your track maintenance by 30%. The hunters will cost you 100,000. Well, uh, get the hunters out there then. Yeah, we got some more trains down the track. Hmm. Some mail service. 11 trains. I mean, it's more than enough. More than enough. I'm just going to keep an eye on these two beauties, sir. And follow them on their journey. Can I? Is there any way I can... Lock my camera onto this guy? I feel like there is. I just... I don't know. Ah, we got the Mogul. Which ain't too bad of a train, but... Eh, oh well. I like the variety of trains you get in this, uh, in this scenario here. Huh? Oh yeah, baby, these are making good progress, so... 
manager wise. Um, yeah, nothing too interesting. I wouldn't mind getting that guy that gives um, like what 15% extra, 10% extra steam or train speed or whatever it is. Thomas Crampton, I believe it is. Oh, why did they stop? That's not good. Either way, we're getting a little closer. Shouldn't be too lucrative robbing these uh, cargo trains, basically. Oh. Yielding time, okay. Let me pay some more bonds. Uh, let's see, and investors are annoyed. Revenue is down, it doesn't really matter. I haven't focused too much on that lately. Uh, engine purchase, blah, 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 blah. Nope, none of those are worth a damn to me. Oh, just for good measure, let us repay these bonds. Ta-da! We have no outstanding bonds. Yeah, the troubles of a single track. But oh well. It gets the job done, at least in this case. Alright. Train 3, yeah, just keep robbing the trains that aren't going across the nation, that's good. I don't care. Not particularly much anyway. Just gonna buy a bunch of shares in my own company because reasons. Don't really have to at all, but why not? Why not? In fact, let's get uh, 50,000. And just buy back some stuff for fun. Very fun to play the stock market. <laughs> oh jeez, Lord, no. I'd, I'd rather not <laughs> when I can avoid it, to be honest. Yeah, right, there we go. But we'll, we'll just, you know, we'll do it anyway, just for fun. It's a bit wasteful. In fact, let's not be doing it. Let's just make some good money, and uh, well, money is not really the issue anymore, it's just to get these trains safely to the destination, and then life will be good. So, there we go. Getting very close to finishing our task here. Investors are very pleased. Increase your salary, blah blah blah, revenue is up. Well, you're gonna be pleased with me after this year, I can tell you that much. So seemingly we can't complete this uh, task within like seven years. It's been seven years since you began your railway. The people of Africa are waiting. Remember, connect Cape Town to Cairo and haul eight loads between them by 1902 for the gold medal it is. Now we're just gonna buy back some more stock just because I feel like it, so let's do it. Whoop whoop. Oh yeah, the big money trains are coming in. Could build some station infrastructure here. If we do, right, this first passenger train that hits will make up for every, like, large hotel and everything that we build. We'll just get all that money back basically, or really close to it, on just one train delivering uh, cargo help. We're not going to do it though, because there's no real need to. But uh, our first train across Africa is about to arrive, baby! Woo! Yeah, baby! Time to buy back some stock. Hell yeah! Nah, I don't really need to mess with that. Ah, it can just go back empty-handed. Empty-handed. It doesn't really matter. We just need a few more trains to get there. And then we're good. Completely golden. Here comes the second train. Yeah, 
It should stop for no one. Stop stopping for people. Same for you guys. Sula Raiders captured. Very nice. Increase in train robberies expected. El Fantastico. Right, going from north to south seems to be a lot of a quicker endeavor than going the other way around. Either way, we're about to win, so it's all good. Nothing matters anymore. Boom, Cape of Good Hope. Has uh, delivered on the good way. Well, what am I even talking about? What the fuck? I just, uh, I, I don't know, I saw this and I uh, <laughs> just... I just said the name of it for no really discernible reason. Boom, baby! So yeah, we had 13 years and we did it in... Maybe less than two thirds of that time. Eight years it took. Your victory is of epic proportions. Truly your skills are the stuff of legends. Now Africa has something to rally around that all the world would take notice of. You've made it possible. Have you given any thought to colonizing Europe? <laughs> oh, whoops. I shouldn't have clicked that, but yeah, there you have it. Um... Oh. Well, from the first spike to be driven in that sleepy little town of Baltimore, to the nightmarish conflicts in Europe, to the bustling markets of Cairo, you've managed to wrap the world in one big iron river. <laughs> so stand up, take your place among the legends. You've become more than a mogul, more than an industrial magnate, more than one of the original iron men. You've become a bona fide railroad tycoon extraordinaire! Now wipe your nose. Alright, okay, I made the uh, high school list. We're not gonna go for that, we're gonna go for uh, Fjord Fox, baby. For posterity's sake. Let's look here. Um, Gold medals, 18. Silver medal, 0. Bronze, 0. Score, 162. Difficulty, hard. I would say that we uh, kicked ass. And, um, yeah. Alright. Okay, well, apparently... Uh, we have to play the other campaign separately but yeah i mean i hope you um enjoyed the uh the experience the campaign uh, with all gold medals first campaign classic campaign i should say if you did like this episode and maybe the other episodes or whatever either way what i'm getting at is i'm fishing for a like you know i would appreciate if you clicked like and i also appreciate uh, would appreciate if you would maybe subscribe to see some of my content in the future Either way, next episode, next campaign, you can catch me there. Have a good one.